back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Come inside as we take a look at Mark of the Devil from 1970. Now, this film tells us the story of Count Christian von Muir, played by Udo Kerr. And von Muir is an apprentice to Lord Cumberland, played by Herbert Loam. And they are witch hunters, okay, in the 18th century. And we catch them at the height of the witch hunting during that time. Well, when this band of witch hunters comes to a small town to take care of some of the Lord's justice, uh, our, our apprentice falls for the beautiful Vanessa, played by Olivier uh, Vuko, who That's how she was credited in this. It's actually Oliviera uh, Catarina. But he falls for her. Well, when she's accused of being a witch by the local witch hunter for reasons other than witchcraft, uh, we start to see as the apprentice questions the actual motivations of witch hunting and also following his heart rather than his head when it comes to what path he should follow. Uh, folks, on the surface, this kind of looks like your standard 70s schlock, where you, uh, I mean, you've got the light, airy soundtrack as it opens, as people are getting violated, you know, that classic 70s horror trend of playing inappropriate soundtrack with the actions that are going on the scene. Uh, so in the opening, you're like, okay, and you're getting girls burned at the stake within the first 10 minutes, you're like, yeah, okay, I see this where this is going. But what you end up is getting an interesting look at the witch hunts of 18th century and a look at the church and the things they actually did and how they used witch hunting to cover up the things that they really wanted to do, such as unfaithful bishops getting girls pregnant and etc. It's a definitely an interesting script and it was better than I thought it would be uh, going into it, you know, so I was very pleasantly surprised that this script actually had some meat and depth to it. But then again, Michael Armstrong, who directed this, didn't really direct many films at all. In fact, one of the only other films of note is Horror House, uh, but he did write a lot of horror films, and you can see that coming through the screen. There are some fantastic performances by Loam, who was uh, the chief uh, inspector Car uh, Charles LaRusso Dreyfus in Pink Panther movies, as well as in Spartacus. You got Udo Kerr, who isn't in a German uh, Nazi outfit for once, and he does well as the young uh, Count Christian. And then you've got, of course, Oliviera, who is showing that why girl with curves are very attractive. You also throw in a great performance by Reggie Nadler as Albino, the local witch hunter who is doing uh, things uh, for himself in the name of the Lord. And you got yourself a nice cast handling a deeper script than is expected in a 1970s torture film. Now, there are plenty of torture scenes, to be sure, so it's not for the squeamish. And while the blood may look a little fake, the torture devices do look authentic 18th century witch torture devices. And there are some gruesome things in there for you gore whores out there. A few interesting scenes you may enjoy. It's not phenomenal cinema, no, but it is decent cinema and better than a lot of 70s horror films that came out. Three stubs in my book for Mark of the Devil and it is worth your time if you got it for rental. It's out on Netflix. Definitely check it out. What you should also check out on Livestream.com slash The Vortex is Bordello of Horror where you can get your freak on with Freak Show Peterson and Cindy Vicious where they, at 9 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Uh, sorry, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Central, duh, <laughs> you can check them out as they play some fantastic uh, public domain horror films. They've got one coming up called Devil's Nightmare. You should definitely check it out. Brand new episode. And in between showing the movie, we get some fantastic funny skits by Cindy Vicious and Freak Show Peterson. Plus, there's a live chat going on where you can talk to them, as well as a group of other fantastic, fun people who just love old horror. So definitely check it out. Livestream.com slash the Vortex. And also check out MadisonHorror.net for your information on the upcoming Madison Horror Film Festival, as well as some other interesting bits there. Definitely worth your time and your clicking. That'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket stuff. <laughs>